scared cause we clapping We could be dappin' Just don't come around her with all of that hey. And also Good Judy's I have music So if you wanna be a part of that the latest EP that I put out, or that will be out, <laughs> um, it's it's very raw. It's meant to sound kind of like incomplete and not done. And I did that for many different reasons. One thing is pretty much all of those songs are songs that have been recorded at least more than five years ago some of them almost 10 years old and there were there are songs that i've always wanted to put out and finish but i just could never finish them i could never i don't know either life got in the way or they just i didn't know what else to do with them but i knew it was something a project that i wanted to put out a story and um not only were they written all these years ago more so during my early 20s they were also, they've all been recorded that I haven't, these, these are songs that I've just had that were meant to be a project that it just never got finished and never got put out. And I, I got so stuck on, oh my gosh, I can't put it out. It sounds bad. It sounds horrible. And I'm like, um, I don't care anymore about it sounding good. I just kind of, I just want it out there. I need it out there. I need it to be done. I need to just put it out there and be rid of it. And I guess I could have just kept it for myself, but I don't know. I was I wanted out there whether it's raw or it sounds good or not. I think it's still something that can be enjoyed and if nothing else discussed by others. So I had to share it and get it out, like music uh, <laughs> constipation. You know, I had I had to just clear that out so I can feel complete and move on to my next project, new music, which I am working on new music, stuff that's actually going to be complete and, and whole and everything. So anyways, another reason why it's kind of like this raw, like incomplete kind of feel is because, um, well, when you're in your early 20s, you are raw and, it, and incomplete. Sometimes, uh, pause. <laughs> sometimes when I don't have a mega wipe on hand, I'll just take the beauty sponge and like just, but listen, yeah, when you're, I mean, when you're in your 20s, you are raw and incomplete, and I thought it was just more realistic. Everybody focused so much on putting out music that sounds like so perfect, and it's studio quality, and, you know, and that's great, and that's, you know, I definitely want to put that kind of music out, but just, I don't know, for this project, it just kind of felt more honest if it was just kind of raw, and as it was i didn't want because for one and then another thing was if i wanted it to sound like the absolute most professional quality to sound i would have had to record everything all over again and time wise i just i would you know who i didn't i didn't want to take the time to, i don't want to say i don't have time because obviously like i could have made time for it but i didn't want to take the time to do it all again because i just for one, I wasn't in that headspace to record those songs. I And then also, I didn't want to take away from how I sounded then. I think, you know, everybody, you always hear like, sorry, I'm all over the place. But like, you always hear like the final product. You always hear people like at their best. And I already have that one mi mixtape out with like the New Birth to the West End and all of that. That was so much different than this latest EP, and I think it's good to go back and say, hey, <laughs> I used to really suck, <laughs> you know. Not that the, the New Birth to the Western one is like, ah, uh, but it's, you could definitely tell it's a lot, I uh, sound a lot more different for many reasons. And it was just, I don't know, it's just something, I wouldn't have been able to capture it the way I did when I originally sung those songs because I was actually li living in it. I was actually in the moment, so I didn't want to, you know, it's kind of like a timestamp. It just would have been different. So, yeah, so check it out. <laughs> I pulled out the, I'm not using the colors there, I'm just using the mirror. I have a mirror right in front of me, but I wanted to see one that's a little bit closer. I think I'm going to take some of this pink and um, just like 
brighten up a little bit. And guys, if you have music and stuff, I would love to hear it and I would love to share it. Even if you're like me, like I'm not trying to get really do anything with my music. It's just that's my medium, that's my creative expression. Like some people paint or draw or write and I do all those things too. But uh, making music, that's my medium. That's my creative outlet. I mean, if something came of it, then like great. But like it's at the definitely for sure not the main goal. And if you want to know what I'm using for eyeliner, I'm actually using uh, the black shade in the James Charles palette, which is spooky. And if you are pursuing music professionally, uh, for sure, definitely let me know. But like I said, there's definitely more music to come, and I'll definitely keep you guys posted. And that other channel, like I said, is down below. Chanel number five sounds. And also, I mean, I've changed my musical name so much, so it's been like... Nelly number five, Chanel number five, you know, and then this channel's called Nellyville, and then I've just been Nelly, or just number five. You hear me refer to myself as a lot of different names, so, which is like normal. And the new music that I'm putting out, um, I am going to be doing more rapping, uh, but I'm also going to be doing some singing too. Kind of, sort of. I want to get dwell into that, delve, dive into that a little more. Singing. I'm not much of a singer, but you know, I like to do it and I definitely want to learn and practice and get better. So, definitely more confident rapping than singing, but she's getting there. Okay. She happy with the eyes? 